currently on a little bus on our way to Pyeongchang. Uh, there we're going to figure out how to take a sleeper bus towards Paksin. We didn't do any tours, we're just doing it on our own. Hopefully that way it's a bit cheaper. It's a very small van. Only a couple of people, but... Eight, nine people or something? Yeah, and it should take us about an hour and a half because the road is quite new. Mm -hmm. So, not too long. So, I'm really curious to see if the roads are proper for Actually, once. as good as they tell us they are, but we'll see. We are currently at the southern bus station, we made it and here is the entrance. So basically this is a time board with all the locations, destinations from Vientiane. And you can see all the options, so we have to go to Paxen. You can see there's many, many buses going every half hour basically. But the VIPs, they only start at night, so the first one is around 18 o'clock. 1830, 19, and then 20. But we have to take a VIP 2 bus because those one, have. One, VIP 1? One. One? One. Okay. Because VIP 2 do not, do not have toilets. And yeah, for 9, 10 to 10, 12 hours, that's a bit difficult. The toilets will probably be disgusting, but uh, yeah. we'll have to uh, figure it out. So basically, here there's all the different operators. We took the uh, Chitra Song. You have to be lucky with um, the type and the condition of the bus that you get. So we paid 290,000 kips. There's one that is 10,000 kips cheaper. It's 280,000 kips. I think if you do like a full booked tour from your guest house, it will probably amount to the same. But then you don't really know what operator you're using. So there's not much reviews as well. Here's a little shop closing at 6.30. So if you need some last minute supplies you can always uh, pick up some water here i don't think they have blankets on the bus probably not even uh, pillows but we'll be able to show you that later i think it really depends, depends on which on the bus, bus. And yeah on the driver as well, so. yes. i've read that some people arrive an hour and a half earlier mm -hmm. because of the crazy driving of the bus ride oh my god <laughs> so we'll see we'll see exactly we'll just uh hopefully at I'll least be able to sleep alive, i'm fine <laughs> Being alive would be very nice. So then you go through here, after having booked your ticket, you can relax like we have. We have, I think about six more hours, five, six hours of waiting, but we'll go, go to a coffee shop soon. And then here are all the different bus stops. That side, our bus is going to Vietnam. And these, like platform B essentially, are all buses uh, going through uh, Laos to different locations and then the platform is written down on your bus ticket as oh, well I was about to ask them if we know yeah. which one or we to. just ask him okay. and then there's a couple of shops there's toilets here which are very dirty so I don't recommend Sisu coffee but we're going to hike for a bit waste some time go to a coffee shop and uh, the bus is at 8 we have to be here around 7 7 30 but you're sure that one is with a toilet, right? Yeah, it is. I asked him. Because then this schedule doesn't make sense. Yeah, most likely. I don't know. Because these are all VIP tools except the one at 2030 and 21. I asked him specifically if they were with toilets and he said, yeah, they are. Okay, hopefully. Otherwise, I will find you. Uh, so, let's get out. There's the tuk-tuk drivers always waiting and harassing you for a drive that is overpriced. So just head on through, go a bit further if you're coming from here. That way you can get some reasonable prices. So basically our total expense came to 110,000 for a minivan to Vientiane, 70,000 each for a tuk-tuk from the northern station to the southern station. And we haggled down. So we haggled down only 10,000. It's still probably quite so you expensive. Can get some more as well. But it's a half an hour drive, so by a walk 
takes you an hour and a half and we are like fully loaded so that's not necessary and then yeah this one is 290 so in total we paid 470,000 kip you can probably get the same price at tourist agencies but it's up to you if you want to do it on your own or go through a tourist agency I think I prefer to do it on my own that way you have a little bit more control and you learn a bit and you learn exactly it's not necessarily cheaper but it's more fun and there's more flexibility into what hours that you want to um, actually leave so we're uh, going to walk now get some nice coffee shop maybe eat some proper food before we leave and stock up on supplies for our long ass bus ride so see you in the coffee shop Hello everybody, currently we are at the southern bus station at Fientian. We are waiting for our bus to Paxim. It's currently 6 p.m. We have to wait two more hours before our bus goes, but yeah, we've been waiting for I think four, five hours at the Cafe Amazon. I think it was like almost a 20 minute walk from here, but there was internet, there was plugs, so it was just really nice to wait a couple hours there. Right now we are eating some food before we head to our dreaded bus ride that's around 12 hours or so. We are both eating um, noodle soup with yellow noodles so just a very light easy meal before the bus ride because we don't want to mess up our stomachs if you know what I mean. Okay. We have two chicken, no we have three chicken baguettes with shredded pork and then Everything some <laughs> ham cheese, triangle sandwiches, dried fruits, uh, water, all, all the necessities. So we are ready. Alcohol wipes. We are ready, yeah, and alcohol wipes for the toilets because uh, we actually might die from parasite infections before we reach Paxi. It's really noisy here, really crowded. I'll be happy when I'm on that bus and if it is somehow reasonably um, quiet or there's at least fresh air. Fresh air is the the smallest effort I'm asking for but uh, yeah it's exciting but in the way that's actually fearful fearing for dear life yeah. it's our first bus ride well first sleeper bus so normally we try to avoid it but Paxa was just too far of a ride and we didn't want to lose another day I think the key is do some medying before medying. we actually <laughs> go on the bus and then actually um, fall in some kind of coma sleep and wake up when we're there yeah. or in heaven if that's uh, if something goes wrong and we booked our tickets we're next to each other normally there's nobody next to us so no no we're, there's nobody next for that to we us. don't have to worry no because uh, <laughs> we're engaged now so all right guys see you hopefully sometime on the bus yeah on the bus yeah probably on the bus uh, if we if we're brave enough to do some vlogging there and not like hiding in a hole to our night bus it is here in full glory our luggage has been stuck the way we need a pool it's looking over us so it's basically a double decker huge here's the engine quite an operation I don't even want to know how much uh, horsepower that one has but we are excited, it's very loud right now. It is very, very, very loud. We don't know what to expect, but uh, we're hoping for the best. It looks like a quite decent bus. Flashlights everywhere. And they're still loading up. But we're leaving in, oh sorry. We're leaving in a couple minutes, uh, getting on at least. I don't know, when does it exactly leave? Eight o'clock? But we can get on at 7 30. Yeah, 7.30 so then we can uh, stow our stuff and get the bed nice and comfortable. It's been a long day, it's gonna be a long night as well. But uh, yeah, we'll see you on the bus, hopefully nice and cozy with uh, some proper pillows and blankets. Yeah. But we, I also we are prepared, prepared some things, yeah. We got a nice bag from Cafe Amazon. It's, nice, I think it's like a Christmas thing. A so. nice free tote bag after buying green tea, which was really nice. So yeah, see you on the bus. This is the inside of the bus. This is our little cabin. We're sitting pretty much on the front. But we are very lucky. Some 
very nice gentleman wanted to switch places with us and we got a very big window that we could see outside and film and I think we're actually pretty comfortable yeah it's pretty comfortable we're not, a, we're not the biggest people as well you can't see anything so basically there's our backpacks Some there's uh, there's two plugs as well we have a little bit of light fresh air and then a window like the size of the mattress the mattress itself let's say it's, yeah perfect for two small people so i cannot stretch my legs completely but um it's only a short nine hours so we'll be fine there's the exit and there is the toilet so me, we're close to everything so yeah let's get ready we have snacks, back full of snacks, we get to go. your face we survived and all in all my honest opinion it was fine it's a very special experience but we were lucky with the people next to us they were not loud at all cute little children uh, the driver was responsible up until the last half hour because then he started driving a bit crazy I think he wanted to get home real fast but I don't know what time is it let me check so it's 8 o'clock and we left at 8 so from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. Uh, but we had a reasonable sleep woke up often but yeah that's I think that's normal on a on a sleeper bus and all the bumpy roads like uh, like they have in Laos but our experience wasn't bad at all I think this is the only way to do such a long distance in Laos make sure you book with uh, a good agency we had shit prasong we saw many bad we saw many bad reviews but you gotta be lucky your experience can be terrible ours was okay so happy to be here the city itself doesn't look like much but it's a passover town we'll probably be here for one day plan out the rest and then go south to the 4000 islands do some temples in between but um from now on we can actually take it easy because yeah we did the hardest part that we had to do in whole Lao so we made it live high five